Well, good day, boys and girls. Did you miss me? I know you did. Knuckleheads, are you ready for the power going out? Like they, they're, they're getting right now in the hurricane over there? And uh, people, yeah, are suffering left and right out there. They can't even get gas because there's no generator to get the gas stations going. They're hurting. And what I'm going to do today is prepare you and show you what I've got for whenever the power goes out next time, you'll be prepared. Let's get after it. Solar mount that I can twist and keep in line with the sun and pitch to be at the right angle for the sun. Yeah, I made that with a welder. Outdoor solar kitchen. Hey, we all have to have coffee when we're stressing. And oh my gosh, I can't live without my George Foreman. Got that. A solar chuck wagon. Do you have a ton of drinking water? A closet full of non-perishable food. Coleman camp stoves that can run off of unleaded gasoline. So have this stove that can run off of gasoline, alcohol, or kerosene, or diesel. Right there. A little rocket stove that I can cook with just a couple twigs. I can cook coffee or a meal with. Little portable FM Ryobi radio that I can uh, recharge the battery with my solar panels. Tons of buckets that I can go down to the lake and get water to flush the toilet with, with lots of lids. 1,200 watts of solar panels that I got off a of marketplace for $200. 400 watts of brand new solar panels I got for $200 on marketplace. And a plethora of solar generators and inverters. Heck, I even got two jackeries. And uh, yeah, if one system fails, I got four systems. So uh, I'll keep that refrigerator running and freezer. What about lighting? I got that too. How about an electric blanket? 12 volt with a cigarette lighter plug to uh, keep me warm inside my zero degree sleeping bag when it's cold outside. I've learned a lot since I got this system. I've built my own now. And uh, yeah, but I can take this one. Maybe the neighbors or down the street have power. I can take this, have it charging if the sun's not out over there. And uh, while these are all working, I could be charging this up at the neighbor's house or down the road. I made this little guy to keep a fan running or uh, charge my phones. Even more lighting. Heck, this has a rechargeable battery. It'll last a long time. Charge it with my solar. How about a 12 volt refrigerator? Yeah, I got that too. One conclusion, do I have everything? No. What I do, I have a lot of things to get me by for a while. Plus, some people might say, well, you got way too much solar. You don't need all that. But heck, my neighbors might be in trouble. Uh, people use oxygen machines next door. They might need help. Uh, I might be able to save somebody else's food by giving them a system. And heck, they might share food with me that I saved. See? We all have to come together in those situations and help each other out. Now I got the, the uh, trailer, the solar trailer. I can take that out to my mother-in-law's, keep her freezer going. It's portable and a uh, great little setup there. Yeah, well, you know, it's a good ho hobby to have because one day the power is going to go out and it's going to go out for a long time. And uh, I'll be ready for the next time the power goes out. Think about it. Watch a lot of my videos. I'll go over everything that you'll need, you know, to get get started and everything. And yeah, just be prepared for the next time. Yeah, you always say it won't happen to you. There are a lot of people that said that and it's happening to them right now. I could talk all day long, but uh, I'm good at it. But knuckleheads, get prepared. Boys and girls, get prepared. And uh, have a lot of stuff. Then you'll be ready for yourself and to help your neighbors and we'll get through the next big outage if it ever happens in this area. Talk to you later.